Actually, the fear of dropping something is the major obstacle from doing bar tricks behind the bar. So a lot of you guys ask in the comments to explain that and I notice a lot of our students also after they graduated school they're afraid to use uh, bar tricks behind the bar for the same reason just because they're afraid to drop. In this video I will give you some tips and advices how to avoid drops and be more confident. A quick note, uh, I'm gonna advise mostly bartenders who perform uh, tricks behind the bar but if you're looking for more advanced advices I'm going to link um, in the description how to prepare for your first uh, competition and there is kind of more detailed information for more advanced bartenders. Let me be just clear the main reason why you guys drop is when you do tricks that you either not ready for they too complicated or you simply not confident you can't do those moves like 10 out of 10 with closed eyes so that's why you have a little fear and there is more chances that you get a little shaky and you drop. So first thing I would like to tell you is to avoid those difficult moves. As I always explain in my tutorials, you don't need to do hard uh, tricks with multiple objects to impress your guests. Usually one or two objects is max. So easier and smoother moves will definitely decrease chance of dropping something. If you play safer, this is how it looks. You should be doing moves mostly that uh, never releases from your hands. For example, move like this. Um, it's pretty cool, but it would be so much harder for beginners behind the bar just to do a regular throw behind the back or even harder from behind the back. This takes some serious time. And for example, even if you uh, don't want to just do with one object, you simply can combine and, and do it like this with two. But you see those moves, there's pretty much zero chances of dropping just uh, because I never release anything from my hands. And let me show you more examples what kind of tricks you can do without really releasing any objects from your hands. And there's so so many moves you, like this you can find on my channel so if you're a beginner and you try to do like throw behind the back or from behind the back with or without rotation those moves are not much more impressive than I just showed to you but they're so much harder and, and, and especially if you try to do like a small bar like this or if it's too dark plus your shaker is not powder coated the silver like this you can't really see it really really well much more practical and your confidence pff, will be like this if you just try to do uh, small moves where you like don't release anything from your hands. So one more thing to mention, if you're a very beginner also and if you're just trying to build your confidence, I would simply recommend to try uh, to do tricks with a bar napkin uh, because it's easy and it's just a really attractive trick if you do it especially like this with the help of your hand and if, if you miss it or if like goes from like you know kind of off the bar it's just really easy to recover and you do it like this pump and do the simple version instead of for example if you do a, a trick with bottle or if you drop it you don't have exactly the same bottle you definitely would have to go pick it up it's just uh, doesn't look that professional so I think uh, tricks with napkin it would be a totally help and to build confidence again I highly recommend guys to try napkin and then just do like one shaker pump 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 small moves maybe the bar spoon and then build it from there a lack of confidence and hard tricks that you're not ready for I believe the main reason why you might drop but again there's few other factors that I'm gonna uh, mention now like for example uh, size of the bottle and the amount of liquid of course uh, there's much much easier to do tricks with a smaller bottle just uh, because it's lighter it's smaller and if you do something with like for example this is not the best example but if you do tricks like with bottle like Hendrix and you see the neck is just uh, so much smaller and even like the grip when you hold it I would prefer to do tricks with this bottle or a smaller bottle then with a bottle of Hendrix, even though I love Hendrix, it's a great gin, but I would just uh, maybe do like a really nice, cool, flashy pour and put it back to the well. And another reason when bartenders drop in, basically when they use 
multiple objects, I mean more than two. In general, uh, as I always tell in my tutorials, I wouldn't even recommend to do board tricks behind the bar with more than one, maximum two objects. So it, like maybe two shaker and a bottle, like three objects, it, it's a little bit too much. Next reason would be wet hands. Let's say you just washed your hands and then uh, trying to do something with shaker. Uh, it, in general, it's not even safe to like uh, do moves with the wet hands. And last reason I wanted to mention is basically the element of surprise is for example when you just uh, work you do your standard routine pam, pam, you do tricks and then somebody appear at your bar with a, a big camera like even sometimes i do that when i like to film uh, bartenders uh, how they work or maybe even just to start filming what you do on phone you feel that little pressure it's like uh, it gets a little shaky and you're like oh okay okay that's what i would recommend to absolutely minimize risk and then you just do safe moves because it will look really silly if you just uh, start doing something and you feel that pressure you start dropping uh, those who uh, do tricks behind a bar and being on camera once in a while totally know what I'm talking about so that's why in that case I would just uh, recommend to minimize uh, all the difficulty and then just either do like things that you would do 10 out of 10. Hope you guys found this video useful and it will help you uh, avoid drops when you do bar tricks. If you enjoy watching this, please give me a like, consider subscribing and I will see you next week.